Good morning. I am Palani Kumar from Kamraj College of Engineering and Technology. In this video, we are going to learn about what is a flexible manufacturing system. In which type of industries FMS can be implemented? Various types of flexibility tests to be conducted in order to find whether the given manufacturing system is flexible or not. And finally, we are going to discuss about the types of FMS. Where to apply FMS technology? The industries in which uh, the parts are being produced in batches, we can easily implement the flexible manufacturing system. And the second situation is uh, where the group technology cellular layouts are being uh, able to be designed in industries there also we can easily implement the flexible manufacturing system group technology cellular layout uh, is uh, meant for uh, manufacturing the part families here i would like to remind what is a part family a part family is uh, nothing but a group of parts which are identified depending on their design or manufacturing attributes so these uh, part uh, similarities are uh, useful to make it as a part family and these part families are processed on the fms oxidations and now we can uh, define what is a flexible manufacturing system simply we can define fms fms is nothing but it is a group of cnc machines interconnected by an automated material handling system and controlled by a computer controlled system so this is a simple definition we can easily uh, try to understand what is an fms fms is nothing but it is a group of cnc machines which is having a interconnection by an automated material handling system. The material handling system is going to be completely automated, fully automated. And the total control of the entire system will be controlled by an integrated computer control system. And it, this uh, FMS technology relies on the principles of group technology. No manufacturing system can produce unlimited variety of products. That is, uh, any manufacturing system is not at all going to be possible to produce unlimited range of products. Even uh, FMS is capable of producing only a limited range of part families. Hence, we can say that parts and products are in mid uh, variety production range and mid volume range only can be produced in flexible manufacturing system. Now we can see the various uh, types of uh, flexibility test. There are four different types of flexibility test which are to be satisfied in order to say that the given manufacturing system is flexible. The first one is the different part styles. Whether it can process uh, different part styles, then we can say that it is FMS. The second one is if at all it is able to accept the changes in the production schedule, then we can say that it is a flexible manufacturing system and the third one will be whether it is able to respond to any equipment or uh, uh, machine breakdown then we can say that the given system is a flexible manufacturing system and the last one will be whether we can accommodate the different uh, new part designs the introduction of different uh, new part uh, styles and uh, configurations if at all we are able to accommodate and we are able to uh, produce uh, all such uh, new different part configurations then again we can say that this uh, production system is a flexible manufacturing system so whenever uh, when all these uh, four tests are uh, satisfied then we can say that the given system is a flexible manufacturing system now here we are going to check uh, here in the diagram we are seeing uh, we are uh, we are able to see two cnc machines cnc machines uh, two cnc machine tools along with a robo this is a robo manufacturing cell this is a automated robo manufacturing cell we are going to check whether this is a flexible system or not we can check that by uh, checking the 
four different types of flexibility tests. The first one is the part variety test. Whether the part variety test is possible in this uh, 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 robo manufacturing cell? Yeah, because uh, there are two CNC machines available. So we can easily manufacture, we can easily accommodate uh, different part configurations. So the first test, it is possible to machine or process different part configuration in this type of robotic machine cell. And the next one will be the schedule change test. Schedule change test is also possible in this because uh, whenever there is a change in production schedule, there will always be in reality, there will always be change in production schedule. There, that can be a change in due date, that can be a, a, a requirement of a large number of parts. So any change in production schedule must be accommodated by the manufacturing system. Here, with the help of two CNC machines and a automated uh, robo material handling system, we can easily uh, accommodate the change in production schedule. So the second test is also possible over here. The third one is the error recovery test. Even the error recovery test is possible in robotic work cell because we are having two CNC machines. If one machine breaks down with the help of the other machine, we can continuously run the production. And the last one will be the new part test and the new part test in order to introduce new different uh, part configurations we need to upload different uh, nc part programs that we can do with the help of the two cnc machines which is available in this uh, robotic work cell so this new part test is also being satisfied with the robotic uh, work cell so we can say that this uh, robotic automated manufacturing cell is flexible now we can see the different types of fms so the different types of fms is uh, being uh, the fms is being classified depends on various factors the first factor is going to be the kinds of operation the kinds of operation if the operation is processing or if the operation is assembly or what is the type of processing the type of processing is going to be machining even if it is machining, whether it is rotational or non-rotational. Depends on these factors, FMS can be classified. The second type of classification is the most important one. It depends on the number of machines. And uh, according to the number of machines, FMS is being classified into three. The number one is the single machine cell. And the number two is the flexible manufacturing cell. And the third one is going to be the flexible manufacturing system single machine cell there the number of uh, cnc machines is going to be equal to one fmc the second one it is going to be n is equal to two that is uh, cnc machines will be two numbers or three numbers and uh, when we consider the last one flexible manufacturing system there we are going to have the cnc machines are going to be equal to four or more than four so now we can compare the uh, uh, three different types of FMS along with the uh, flexibility test. The first one is a single machine cell. The single machine cell uh, we are going to consider for the part variety test. The part variety test is uh, possible with the help of single machine cell but the processing will be only sequential because there the machine is only single. And in the case of FMC, we can do simultaneous uh, production. Simultaneously, we can do the production of different part configuration. In the case of FMS also, we can do the same because here FMS, we are having large number of machines. So here, the part variety can be done in a simultaneous way. In the case of the schedule change test, it is possible for all the three different types of FMS. In the case of error recovery, it is very very limited for the single machine cell because if there is any error or if there is any breakdown in a particular equipment of the single cnc machine it is going to be uh, uh, it is going to be a uh, large lot lot it is going to be very difficult because uh, we are having only single cnc machine in this uh, type of classification so it is very limited the error recovery uh, test is going to be very limited for single machine cell 
while in fmc it is the error recovery is still limited because here also fmc also we are having only two or three cnc machines so the cnc number of machines is going to be very less so if there is any uh, breakdown happening in a particular cnc mission so the still the error recovery is only limited while in the last case that is in fms where the uh, cnc machines are going to be four or more than four there we can have a very uh, wonderful uh, uh, effect in error recovery test because there we need not depend on one machine or two machine because here we are having large number of machines in fms so the machine redundancy automatically minimizes the effect of the breakdown and the last it is just new pod design configuration test and that is possible in all the three classification here they are showing you a, a illustrative example of single machine cell here you can see there is only a single cnc machine which is uh, automated by a, a conveyor type of material handling system and it will also be controlled by a computer control system this is a photograph it's a photograph of a cnc single machine cell and uh, the next one will be the illustrative example for fmc here fmc they are showing three cnc machines which is automated by a metal handling system and controlled by a computer control system and this is a photograph of uh, two cnc machines being interconnected by automated metal handling equipment and this is a photograph of two machine fmc and this is a photograph of five machine fms here we can see five different uh, cnc machines being automated with the help of a automated uh, metal handling system and this will be controlled by a uh, integrated computer control system and this is a photograph of five machine flexible manufacturing system and here we can see a, 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 a comparison of these uh, three different types of fms the single machine cell is uh, in the x axis we are having the number of machines in y axis we are comparing it with the investment production rate and annual volume so fms we are having large number of machines and also the production rate will be larger the investment cost also larger while compared to the single machine cell on the other hand the single machine cell we are having only the machine is single and the investment is also going to be lower and actually the production rate annual volume will also be lower fmc it will be in a medium range when compared to fms and single machine cell and one more type of fms is there it is depends on the level of flexibility and that is dedicated fms and random order fms dedicated fms is uh, designed in order to produce a, a limited variety of part style as the name indicates dedicated it is dedicated only for that part family and uh, whatever the limited variety of part family that is uh, going to be manufactured using this dedicated fms will always be known in advance so there is no uh, changes can be done afterwards it all the parts that are going to be manufactured uh, with the help of this dedicated fms will be completely known in advance while in the case of random order fms it is not the case it is appropriate for large part families for manufacturing large part families we can use this random order fms new part designs can be introduced in this uh, random order fms and the production schedule can be changed daily we can change it daily in a sequential way and in a random way we can completely do the change uh, as and when required and now we can see the classification of uh, this uh, fms dedicated fms and random order fms uh, comparing it with the four different types of flexibility test dedicated fms the part variety is going to be very limited while in the random order fms it is uh, a substantial part variations is possible because the random order fms is useful for producing large part families so here the part variations are highly possible in the schedule change test again dedicated fms is very limited that, uh, they, that we cannot uh, change as and when required but here frequently we can uh, do the change all significant changes can be done frequently in the production schedule and the error recovery test dedicated fms is going to be very 
limited as the number of machines will be limited here very few so here the error recovery test is limited while in the case of random order fms as we are going to as we are appropriate for manufacturing large part families the effect will automatically have the machine breakdown problem will not be a problem here as the uh, number of machines are going to be larger in the case of random order fms and regarding new part design here it is not possible new part design is a, any new introduction cannot be accommodated with a dedicated fms as dedicated fms is only dedicated for particular limited range of part families so new part designs are not possible or it is very very difficult to introduce here while in the case of random order fms it is completely possible any new part introduction can be easily managed with the help of random order fms and here the comparison happening with the production rate annual volume in the x axis and flexibility part variety in the y axis the dedicated fms it is able to produce a large production rate and annual volume while the flexibility and the variety is very limited in random order the variety and flexibility is uh, higher while the production rate and annual volume will be lower so that's all about the types of fms so we can summarize what we have seen now first uh, we have uh, analyzed uh, where in which uh, kind of situations fms can be implemented and then uh, we have defined uh, the flexible manufacturing system what is a flexible manufacturing system we have uh, try to learn about uh, the definition of a flexible manufacturing system and then we have studied about the various types of flexibility test to be conducted in a manufacturing system to check whether it is flexible or not finally we have uh, concentrated on the types of fms thank you